Hi there, it's uh, Paul from Behind the Lens and indeed you can't see me because we're now in the second part of the uh, Crane M2. Now we're going to go to the interesting part where I really uh, just this, which I discussed earlier is how do we balance this particular crane. If you see the crane here, first of all in the box there's two crucial things we need to enter. The screw, please don't lose it otherwise you're screwed. <laughs> and a mini tripod which is good for stabilization as we're going to need it. So let's first mount this in. Yeah, and just set it up so we can actually easily talk. What you see here now is this is not particularly well balanced as you can see. We have two parts here. The horizontal lever to balance the camera and the vertical lever. Now, as I told you previously, there are a few things. When I, when I actually bought the Crane M2, there was a severe warning if you're a Lumix G7 owner like I am. Um, this is a very light camera. It's probably one of the lightest ones in weight there is for the type we have. It's, only, it's not even 500 grams. Even with this lens on it, it doesn't even come above 600. And that's exactly the, the issue uh, which I've read everywhere with this particular crane is that it can have a max loading capacity, I think of 1.4. Um, so you guess, let's say 700 grams would be ideal. Anything below it will probably uh, cause some balancing issues. So I put the money to the test there. Another thing is the viewfinder. It's quite big, which normally would see, and this is also why you need to calibrate uh, both the horizontal and the vertical axis in certain ways. Otherwise, you see, it just barely rotates, so it's really key you put your screw on as, as far to the front as you can possibly have. Otherwise, your viewfinder will bump in here. Now, one of the things I really liked about this, I'm the man with two left hands, so for me, anything to do with simplest of engineering is already difficult. You have the Y, sorry, the horizontal axis here is almost to its widest, um, yeah, to, to its widest settings. So I could actually mount the uh, camera on the vertical axis, which is also on its widest settings. The red uh, screw here is where you control the horizontal lever with, and here below, hopefully you can see it, you see here is the vertical axis which you control by this button, by this screw. This screw here controls your plate. Yeah, your screw plate. I call it screw plate, it's called differently, but anyways. This here is where the crux is in. So you need to put your screw in here, in the big one, and you need to put it as far to the front as you can possibly do, because I'll show you what otherwise happens. Let me, now is the clumsy part. Oops, huh? Let's just screw it in. It's very simple, but just don't do it too tight. Do it enough that it can actually make uh, some room. As you can see here, it's not too tight. You can see also, and I think this is better if you see it this way, you have the room here to rotate, but you can also here, you see, here there is no room there. So if we look at the screw plate below, it's not fully to the end. So that's one of the things you really need to do is put it forward as much as you can and then screw it in tightly. And the difference is now you can actually rotate this fairly simple. Now the balancing here, you might think, yeah, hold on Paul, but this is not particularly well balanced. Uh, you're right. When it comes to the balancing, by the way, of the horizontal axis, now there is one thing I need to show you. If you turn on your camera, just push display here and you see, you can easily see whether it's balanced or not. Yeah, I've also seen here, so based on this, as you can see, the horizontal axis, axis isn't perfectly balanced yet. Let me just put it into lock here. Where is the red button? Let me just lock it up. You see, if you want to balance this out, this will do it by itself. The vertical one is far more challenging. To get that 100% right, you probably have to buy some additional weights. You can buy the Zhuun weights here from the manufacturer. I think I heard somewhere they go for 10 or 15 
uh, dollars it's about I think you get a hundred to 150 uh, grams which you can really hang here now for me that's not that much of an issue right now I'm just testing this out so if I really turn it on now yeah you see it starting up here whoop, and immediately you see it goes into perfect horizontal and vertical balance one of the <laughs> yeah this is what what you do when you when you lock the axis then it does this so I'll restart it again. <laughs> this is of this this is what you will actually see happening so I need to cut this part out editing it's called I'm very good at it Appa. as you can see now it's hanging nicely horizontal yeah, it is really in uh, full frame that said you know this crane obviously is very good for DS, DSLRs for the heavier cameras the box also brings in a mobile phone mount yeah my mobile phone right which I'm filming on right now uh, probably will actually uh, uh, have a bit of trouble balancing on here as well but for me it's important that this actually works now if you pick it up you have the modus here yeah, but I can really advise you before you start balancing there's one step you need to do first and I, maybe this is a strange sequence that I'm saying it the best you can do is go into the app uh, go into the settings and really start auto calibrating via the, the app the actual uh, axis there's multiple things you need six steps it's relatively easy it's done within two minutes but then after I've done that this also balanced out very well so to be very honest, from my point of view, it works. It's not ideal. You can get uh, a different one from a different manufacturer, which is 100 euros more expensive. It's similar to this one, only the biggest difference here is that the plate here is not shifted in horizontally, but vertically. And that makes a uh, big difference, I guess, in terms of ease of comfort and a bit of room. Yeah, that, was, that particular gimbal is also specifically targeting mobile phone users and system camera users. I'm actually quite happy with this. I will start uh, using it a bit more and start, will also start sharing in the next vlog, I will start sharing uh, some of the uh, filming on this. And with that guys, if you want to see that next one, either follow me or subscribe. It's one of those two. Thanks very much guys, hope you found this helpful.